starts here at uh, Children's Mercy. It's with her pediatrician. This is a health and services, which is, I think this is a long visit, isn't it? Three hours. Yeah, this Once is year, right? this is where we get all the social workers and the and the uh, just a whole bunch of people coming through, and we also have to get labs today. Her triglycerides were a little high from her neuro visit, so gonna have to get those on the way out. And this is where our pharmacy is, so picking up uh, refills on some of that stuff while we're here. So uh, if you'll notice, Casey is along on this visit. Hello. <laughs> she hardly ever. Comes, gets, hardly ever gets to come along, and then she's, uh, yeah. she's here. And Alicia's here. She just had to step out for the restroom. So, hey, my goofy goose. Oh, do some more goofy gooses. What's going on? <laughs> You're so drooly today. Why are you so drooly, huh? Hmm. Okay, that visit is over. And like Alicia, there's Alicia. <laughs> like Alicia was saying, it was going so quick until the end. Normally this visit is three hours long. They started off with talking about how they're trying to really shave it down on time. They were hoping to get us done within two hours. I think we were on par for that. And then they were, we needed to do some blood work for Hudson. So they did back up our labs again. So they thought, well, we'll we'll just have somebody come in here and do it. It'll make, it'll make it more convenient. And then they couldn't find a vein. So we ended up having to go to the labs anyway. <laughs> and so we had to wait for that. And then that took a while. Had some two sticks this time, but that's uh, better than average. The average is usually, usually three, at least. We are hopping back on the road. It is crazy snowy out. Yeah, I think for a lab stuff, it took an extra hour. Yeah. Really. Between them coming in and then going downstairs. So it started at, what was it? We got eight. there at like 8, but we didn't get in there until probably 8.15. And it is 11.15. <laughs> right at three hours. As you can see, the kids are home, and Dominic is still trying to learn to button. Do we cry and throw fits? Do we cry and throw fits? No, we don't. Okay. Okay, there's a hole. Now look. Ready? Ready? Put your thumbs. Put it part way through, see? Now do you want to get your thumbs in behind it, just like me? Don't let it out of the hole. Okay, now push it through and pull the fabric over. Push it through and pull the fabric over. Getting close. Oh, gotta try again. I'm, I'm bad. You're not bad. Just gotta try. It just takes practice. Okay, let's start over. You ready? You ready? Look. Look, I got my thumb look on the... in the camera. Yeah, but look at the button. Okay? Look, I got my thumb on the hole. Hands down, please, so I can see too. Okay, put your hands down so I can see. Okay, button. Look, see how I'm holding it with my thumbs in yep. the hole. Yeah. Okay. Grab with your fingers. And pull it through. Now it's your turn to try. Okay, thumbs ready. Hey, okay. pay attention. Thumbs behind it. Just thumbs, no fingers. Thumbs behind it, not in front of it or on top of it. You got to be behind it. You're being on top of it. You need to be behind it. Thumb 
behind, thumb behind, fingers in front to pull this fabric across. Push it through with this thumb. Go like this. Close, almost. Really close. Pull this fabric over it. Pull. Pull the fabric over it. It's not about pulling the button, it's about pushing it with this thumb. Pull the fabric while you push. Go like this. Look at me, go like this. <laughs> Push your thumb through. Not with this hand. You should be able to just do it with this hand now. Push the... Look, look, look. Ah, da, 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 da. We don't throw fits. Look, 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 look. You have to look. Pull the fabric with your fingers and push with your thumb. Do this move. Not your arm, just your fingers. Look at that. Look at that. You did it. You did it with one hand. You did it with one hand. Hey. Hey. Turn around. I can see you. Yeah, but I want you looking at me, not the camera. You did it. You did it. You want a high five? Let's get a high five. Why? Because you did it. Now get another Kleenex. I'm going to blow your nose again. So, Dominic has for about uh, three weeks now, definitely since he's gone back to school, he has been wanting to put pajamas on as soon as he gets home. <laughs> as soon as he comes home, he wants to change straight out of his clothes, get his shoes off, and change into pajamas. I mean, I can't blame him. <laughs> I, uh, I went and made deposits and got gas and came home and uh, just folded some laundry, and it just seemed like I ran out of time, and it was time to go get Dominic. But uh, I'm going to get Hudson downstairs, and then I've got some dishes to do, so um, let's talk. Oh, well, hi. I think I need to readjust that camera a little bit, just a tad. That, that works. Anyway, uh, I'm sure you guys have noticed that I haven't been posting as regular as as I used to anyway and that's not uh, it's not because I plan on posting less it's just that it's winter uh, it's not just winter like it's winter with a vengeance around here actually I took some drone footage just to show you the snow coverage that we have around here and, and what's crazy is the snow that you're gonna see in this is like five days ago it snowed and it's been kind of melting off and yet in well today is Tuesday on Thursday or Friday is supposed to start raining and then freeze and then snow even worse <laughs> so I mean look at this <laughs> amount of snow at least for for this area it's more snow than we've probably seen since the year Hudson was born so today at her visit it was a yearly visit that we have to do with what's called the beacon program social workers come in and the doctor and the nurse practitioner and the uh, person who runs the beacon program and just there were nurses trying to take blood it's like this you you kind of see like everyone the pharmacist comes in it's it's like this big thing we go over stuff that we need and that is not just stuff in hospital but like with the social worker for example talking about programs that can help us to maybe get a stair lift put in or a modification done on the house which would be which would be great we're uh, we're hoping to get the modification done for downstairs this year. Sounds like there may be some charitable organizations out there who can help us and maybe uh, a state waiver that can that can help with some of it, we're hoping. And of course, loan agencies and such. We're a little extended as far as loans go. We just, you know, bought this big old house two years ago and bought a big old van last year. And let's put it this way, we have a lot of bills. <laughs> 
So a fifteen thousand dollar stair lift is not exactly in uh, in our budget. Now that being said, if this channel can keep growing, if we could have just one video do as well as all of the videos so far, basically <laughs> the channel views. I, I I've seen lots of, of channels out there that get you know a million views on a video. Well, this channel has three million views for. 300 videos, which isn't anything to complain about. I mean, I don't think that's too shabby for the type of channel that we are. We don't uh, we don't do a bunch of Logan Paul stuff, you know, with the whole I don't know clickbait necessarily. I do tend to make titles and thumbnails that are a little more well, I mean, clickbaity, but it's really only clickbait if you don't deliver. <laughs> Casey is. Not supposed to be home till probably closer to seven o'clock tonight. Uh, she's got a later meeting, and it was like downtown, so it's a long ways away. No, she should be home before you're in bed. Also, Astrid has been fitting in just perfectly. She is just such a sweet girl. She's got her spot over here. She. She likes to sit there on the floor even though she's got a bed. It's, but it's funny because it's right in the walkway right there. And we tried to introduce her to Ruby, which is Ashley and Troy's dog. And I don't know how that's gonna go. She, she seems, she's, she's such a nice, gentle dog. Uh, and then when she sees a little dog, she gets very excited, and like the way Troy put it, he said, why do I have to have a dog that looks exactly like the race bunny that she used to chase? <laughs> he's, he's right. So, uh, but speaking of Astrid, I don't know if you've been on our website, but Casey wrote a blog. I'm hoping that you guys have been on our website. Casey has started to do some, some writing again. She really loves to write and she stopped doing it for a very long time. And I think she's put up two or three or four blog articles on our website. So when you get done watching this, if you haven't been there yet, go over there and check them out. She wrote one about Astrid and our choice in a Greyhound as a special needs family. If you're interested in learning more about Astrid's backstory, where she, where she came from, where she used to live, and why she needed to be rescued, then go on over there and check that out. All right, this is the last pan. I know this has kind of been a short, nothing vlog today, but it makes it hard now on these visits to uh, the doctor and such, because like I said, I can't really film much while I'm there. And besides that visit today, not a lot has happened. <laughs> With it being winter, there's just not just not anything to do. Can't really get outside and mow the lawn. Can't go on a bike ride. But I guess I don't want to talk about all the camps, but we're uh, also trying to save money because our Disney trip is less than two months away. And while it's a make-a-wish trip, we still are gonna have stuff that we need to pay for, you know, uh, souvenirs and food. It's so exciting, but I'm a little stressed out. Just gotta figuring out how to fly with Hudson. We haven't flown with her in over three years. She was a lot smaller then. All right, the last time that we flew with Hudson, uh, the poop story. Check that out right here. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna swipe this up and then uh, I, I guess I'm gonna grill some chicken. We'll see what else happens for the night. Okay, we are downstairs. Casey's home. Dinner is done. I uh, grilled the chicken, did some quinoa. I'm having green beans, but she's having some spinach. I always throw a little like vinegar and some kosher salt in her spinach and cook it up. And you really like it that way, don't you? It's delicious <laughs> and healthy. <laughs> but I do it like typically how I do it for her. Well, Casey's dad came. Now I know why, because apparently they've had very vinegary spinach when she was at her 
lived with her parents or whatever because he was like, there is not enough vinegar in this. And so he was like, he added like five or six times as much vinegar to his own bowl last time I cooked for them. Hudson is totally passed out of sleep over there. Dominic is watching his iPad. We're going to continue watching some Netflix over here. Uh, we've been watching You. Have you seen that on Netflix? Oh, wow. It is so good. So we're going to remind you guys, like the shirt says, to the world, you may be one person, but to one person, you may be the world. So go be somebody's world, and we'll see you when we see you next time. I <laughs> love you guys. Bye. Bye.